The development of large land masses must be based on a crash program establishing a sufficient density of basic economic infrastructure. The routes you are seeing on this map of the world land bridge are development corridors, about 100 km wide zones with high-speed transportation, roads and railway lines, canals and water management systems, irrigation, power generation and distribution based on the new generation of nuclear power plants, fuel pipelines, fiber optic cables, new agricultural and industrial zones with mining and manufacturing of goods, and new cities and universities. The spine of these development routes is an efficient transportation system capable of quickly moving materials from and to the industries at a low physical cost. Roads are inefficient and easily get jammed up. Transportation on water is slow. Air is expensive. Already rail is by far the best option and with the implementation of a principle on a higher platform than the wheel, namely magnetic levitation, transportation will enter a new era. Let us say that we wanted to travel from Acapulco on the west coast of Mexico to Mumbai in India. We can do it by ship, or within the newly built worldwide transportation network, we could start our journey from Acapulco's newly built maglev terminal. So far, the Transrapid maglev system has only been built in metropolitan Shanghai, and the Chinese government has planned to extend the line by 180 kilometers to Hangzhou, although this German technology is much more suited to long-distance routes, and is also a potential asset in the freight of high-value goods. Today's technology permits us to travel at speeds up to around 500 km per hour, but Chinese and American researchers have shown that, in a near-vacuum tube, a maglev train can reach speeds around 1,000 km per hour. The land route between Acapulco and Mumbai is just slightly longer than the sea route. As our Transrapid train literally flies across the North American continent and through the new tunnel built under the Bering Strait, we realize the great advantage we have compared to our friends that embarked on the ship. While they are stuck in the middle of the ocean not doing much, we are visiting regions that have just recently been developed along the route. The same thing holds for goods transports. Since we are doing it across land, and since every few kilometers of land area is developing new wealth, when we transport goods along a development corridor, we actually generate new wealth along the way. We arrive fast, safe, and well-rested in Mumbai, long before the ship. The construction of a maglev line between Acapulco, Mexico, and Mumbai, India, would cost an estimated $800 billion once the Bering Strait Tunnel were finished. If one compares this to the approximately $23 trillion that the United States governments under George W. Bush and now under President Barack Obama have fed to the enemies of humanity at Wall Street in the city of London, then this estimated construction cost becomes negligible. For maglev line from the Bering Strait via Moscow, Berlin and Paris to Lisbon, Portugal would cost around $600 billion which is only $100 billion more than the bailout packages for the toxic financial waste the state of Germany alone has laid aside for speculators there. The construction of this route from the Bering Strait would be both strategically and economically a revolution, and would give the city of Lisbon a much more beautiful connotation than it has gained with the signing of the abominable Treaty of Lisbon, which has established the bankrupt EU dictatorship over the nations of Europe.